Welcome to this tutorial where we will be talking about selective lighting. <clears throat> now this is a topic that is, as we're gonna see, is most useful for something like maybe a horror game or something like that, but you can use it for different uh, tricks and uh, effects in other genres as well. So let's jump into it and uh, see what we're talking about today. Before we continue, if you like what I do here on this channel and you want to support it, please consider subscribing, it helps the channel out a lot. Anyway, back to the video. So here we are inside of Unreal Engine 4.26. If you want to follow along today, what we have is a very simple setup. We have brought in two cubes over here. And in addition to that, we also have a light over here. And this is all that we will be playing around with today. Um, I also have an additional light which I can show here by clicking over here and you'll see that both of these objects are being illuminated and they're getting shadows cast from uh, these lights. But we have the ability to affect which items or which objects in the world will be affected by different light sources. So in this case here we have two different light sources and you can see that I've typed in the channel as our filter on the actual object details panel. And you can see that if I click on the spotlights here, they both have the channel zero marked here and there are two additional channels. All of the objects in the world, like these two objects of boxes, they also have these channels available to them and these corresponds directly to, to light sources. So if I were to say that I wanted this light source, let's actually remove one of the light sources so this becomes clearer. So if I want this light source to only affect one of these objects, I have the opportunity to do so. And I can do that by either going into this object over here and saying instead of listening to channel zero, it should listen to channel one. Now you can see that this object is no longer being illuminated by this light, but the first object still is. And if I was to go to this light now and change from channel 0 to channel 1, you can see that this object is now being lit, out, lit up. And if I activate this first light again, you can see that both of these objects are being lit, out, lit up. Uh, however, you might notice that only the left object here is now casting a shadow on the background. The right is no longer doing that. And that is because the wall itself here it's only taking into consideration channel zero. So if we add a channel one to it, you can see that it will also cast a shadow that is being created from this light source over here and this box over here. So that's how simple it is to actually uh, create this effect. Uh, each light source have a corresponding channel which it uh, acts on and objects have a channel that they react to when it comes to light. And examples of how you could make use of this is, for example, in a horror game, maybe you want to have a creepy character and that creepy character you don't want to uh, have any shadows thrown from it. Uh, you can just choose not to uh, cast shadows on that object, for example, but this is another way that you could do it. Another thing that you could do, for example, is to have a completely different uh, object's shadow being cast. Uh, so you have a discrepancy between the actual object and the shadow it's being casted on. Um, you, you have the opportunity to here to play around with and create effects that um, allow you to tweak a little bit about what the player will actually experience when they're playing. Something that sort of feels a little bit weird right uh, and also this is also possible to use if you want to have certain lighting conditions where you might have multiple lights where you might want to have it uh, being lit from different places but only having cast shadow from one of the light sources and such things also so so there are a lot of different scenarios you could make use of this and it's also a very very simple thing to achieve Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.